Good morning, everybody. Uh, hi, all you resellers and not resellers or thrifters, whatever you are uh, watching. Um, I am the thrift trader, aka Natalie, and I'm going to show you all my sales for the whole month of February. Uh, if you don't know, I'm a part time seller, very part time. And uh, right now I can't really list all that much, although I did do, since, you know, February is kind of a um, short month, well it is a short month, uh, I did pretty well for February. Um, I mean, even if it had those extra days, uh, I haven't sold anything for March yet, so um, I do want to start listing in the next couple of days. I need to list quite a bit. Oh, I got that dead pile going, you know how that is. Uh, so, anyway, let's get started and get into my sales. And I will, of course, um, try to remember. <laughs> I don't always remember um, to tell you how much I bought it for and then how much it actually sold for. So, first thing we got here is DJ Mag Magic Mike Presents. Base is the name of the game from 1988. This was totally sealed. Um, <laughs> okay, so there is this, I don't know if you can see that, it looks like a crack almost at the right top, like, like right over here, and, um, it was actually a hair that I could not get out, and there was some, like, tears in the shrink, and I guess it got in through that way, but, um, anyway, so I've had this for forever and I paid way too much I don't even know maybe I was desperate for just something to pick up at garage sales or something but um, I bought this for a dollar and I didn't get even 10 bucks for it and I had it for months so I eventually got 675 someone gave me an offer and I took it just to get rid of it um, they did play they did pay the uh, shipping so it was 266 well, no, that's to me, but it was it was probably the same thing. You know, it was like 266 media mail. I don't remember where it went, but anyway, um, when I sold it, though, the guy who bought it, he was like, you've had this for a long time. I, I guess he had been watching it for a while. I don't know, but it was kind of odd, and I was like, "Is does this guy watch my YouTube videos? Or, I mean, like, I don't know, he just sounded like, he almost knew me or something. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. I'm not going to make any theories, conspiracy theories. But um, it's just like, I know you've had this for a long time. Uh, yeah, my guess is probably he's just been watching it for a while. And um, so, believe me, I was glad to have it go. Next thing. I had had this for a while, too. I was so glad it went. Um, it took up a lot of space in my um, closet. And in this picture, I don't know, maybe I should have put something in there to, like, although I think it's a pretty good picture, even though there's, like, that black and white. And you can see the top of, um, at the top here in my house. Should have took all that out. But, um, it looks smaller in the picture than it actually was. It was actually, uh, 16 inches. And <clears throat> what I should have done is, instead of just, well... I don't know, I guess I didn't want it to get, like, permanently creased, so I didn't, like, just stuff it in a poly bag, um, prematurely. But, um, see, sorry, I had to check something. <laughs> anyway, I know what that is. Okay, this phone was making noise because my cell was right next to it. Anyway, so, um, yeah, anyway, 15 bucks plus the shipping, it went to Florida, pretty close to Disney World, actually. So, uh, yeah, that was neat. I was really glad to get rid of it. I wish it would have gone for more. I see people pick up Lion King stuff, um, like plushes and stuff, and they, they sell for pretty good money, but I don't have good luck with plush ever. <sighs> anyway, yeah, so I only pick up, like, stuff that I, you know, I really think is going to sell, because Otherwise, it's not going well for me. This was kind of fun. Um, I took an offer for this for 12 bucks, 
this is a Christian video that told you about the dangers of rock and roll. And I kind of put some bands in here that it talked about, um, including George Michael, Guns N' Roses, Bon Jovi, Whitney Houston, Prince, Metallica, The Doors. And I tried watching some of it, and it looked unwatchable. <laughs> I think you can watch this on YouTube. So it probably made it not that valuable, but hey, it was free to me because my dad picked it up for me. And like I've said in other videos, sometimes he goes around to thrift stores, and he loves thrift stores, and um, he'll pick up stuff that he thinks will sell, and um, even if it sells for only a few bucks, um, if it's free to me, you know, it's worth it. And this went media mail, they paid for shipping, so it was all good. These born sandals, oh my god, everything that you're seeing, basically, I've had forever. Um, so, I guess it was kind of a good month, um, to, in that, like, a bunch of crap that I've had, just sitting in my closet forever, got, uh, bought. But, um, these shoes were actually my size, and I was highly considering keeping them. And I thought, like, the bottoms were so pretty. And they were my, like I said, my size, a seven. I'm kind of a smaller woman. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'll let them go. They have the original box and original, like, tissue paper and everything. And I thought they would go a lot quicker. A lot of other people, a lot, a lot of other resellers have way better luck with born shoes than I do. Um, I've sold a couple of them. And I... I had them forever before I actually sold them. I think I sold a pair either in December or January for like 10 bucks. And those were like kind of broken. These were like in perfect shape and they only sold for 15 plus the shipping. Maybe it was the shipping that cost so much. Maybe I should have found like a, um, maybe I shouldn't have included the original box. I'm not sure. I don't know. I, I'm starting to like not be that excited about, um, shoes just like any shoes uh unless they're real real special like if you've been watching my videos for a long time i had like this pair of um reebok kool-aid shoes i think it was reebok and they smelled like lemon and those are really neat i think i got around between 30 and 40 on them and um i was really excited about those but like stuff like this uh it's whatever you know so Moving on. Oh, and I got these for, I want to say, like, four bucks. So, I kind of paid up for them, thinking they would sell really well with that original box and the original tissue paper, but nope. Um, and I don't think I said how much I bought Nala for, either. Um, I bought her at a Goodwill. <sighs> I... Two or three dollars, you know, couldn't have been more than that, probably. Anyway, the next one was this iPhone. This was my personal iPhone from last year. And I was kind of nervous about selling an iPhone on, on eBay because a lot of people, I, I hear, like, horror stories, you know. And if you have, like, an iPhone X or even iPhone 8, 7... I don't know if I'd 100% recommend it. Like, I would personally rather just sell it um, to someone in person, which I've done before. Um, but this phone was completely broken. I mean, there was no, like, turning it on again unless you, like, replace parts. I really doubt they'll deal with all that. But uh, it was waterlogged. Like, not only... Okay, so before it got waterlogged, quick story, I, I probably don't care, but... I was actually carrying it around like this. This was the phone that I had. Um, what happened was, I didn't have it in a very good case. Oh, and you can see my hand and everything with my new phone. <laughs> I didn't even notice that before. But, um, yeah, my I was walking my dog, and um, he, like, you know, you know how dogs do? Uh, my dog isn't. My dog is least trained, but he's, I don't know, sometimes when he sees another dog or something he likes, he kind of jerks the leash. And this, my phone flew out of my hands, and 
broke. And so I was like, eventually I'll get something, but not right now. And then I went to the, to a, a lake at a camp with some friends and, um, I had had a few drinks, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> and for some reason I got into a float with my phone and, um, I dropped the phone into like water and I was like, Oh my God. And I knew it was done. It was just done. And you know, I, like I said, I needed a new one anyway, but the rest of that weekend sucks because I had no phone. <laughs> but yeah, sorry, my, um, my ear pods fell out. Anyway, so we got $20 for it and I just already had it sitting around. It had been sitting around for a while. And so I was glad to finally get rid of it. Um, these Toms were, a, I want to say a couple of dollars at a garage sale. I paid too much for them. Um, I listen to the scavenger life who are podcasters and, um, they're really, really good at their job and they do this full time. And they're always saying like Tom's will, um, sell in any condition. And obviously they do because these were just so distressed. Um, like they were like brown inside. Um, but I didn't see any that were like this pattern. And so I was like, well, I didn't think they would go for big money, but I knew they would go for something. And so they eventually got bought for this price. I brought it down from like 15, maybe I had them at 20 first. Uh, and then I brought them down to like 15 and then 13, but I wasn't bringing it down anymore. And when I first put them on, somebody was like, I'll give you $5 for these. And that wouldn't have even, that would have barely covered my fees. So I said, no, let me see what else I can do. And I did have them for maybe, maybe not even six months, like four to five months. Someone finally bought them. But um, I would say in the future, I would only get like really distressed toms like these if I got them for cheap. Like I paid too much for these for sure. Uh, next thing, I got this for free. Um, m my fiance brought this home from a friend that had worked at Gadzooks um, years ago. And so this is just a minor threat patch. Uh, I should have put how big it was in the original picture. I forgot to put how big it was like in the listing at all. And so... It didn't sit for long, actually. It started getting, like, some views almost immediately. And, um, so I knew this wouldn't last, but someone was finally like, hey, how big is this? And I'm like, duh. Why didn't I put how big it was? And I put three and three-fourth inches here. I don't know if I would put it like that. Sometimes I'm just tired or I'm just, like, trying to do something quickly. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, I would have put like 3.75 inches. Anyway, so um, it had all those strings coming off and um, I left it like that. So it had like the, that distressed look to it. Um, and um, there was nothing on the back. It was just so on patch, got it for free, sold for 10 bucks. But I'm very proud of this patch because a lot of people... Um, are selling the like similar patches for less like five six bucks and I got the full ten ten dollars plus shipping on it so that was awesome and it was just something we had around the house you know and um also this is a cool band uh, I put Ian McKay he is the lead singer of Minor Threat um uh, he also is the singer for Fugazi just some music knowledge there awesome punk bands. This is another band that I actually got to see a couple years ago at Riot Fest in Denver. And, um, so the special thing with this was, uh, it had this Novena and you don't find those with this CD a lot. Like I see the CD every once in a while, but, um, I never even knew that there was like this insert in it and um 
or this originally came with like the first pressings and what this had in it was like uh lyrics i guess i didn't take a picture of the lyrics but yeah so um the girl in the front is a girl that harry farrell knew and she's actually featured in the middle here um having a threesome with his uh girlfriend at the time, Casey, I can't remember her last name, but yeah, I did a little re research on the cover and, you know, who this girl was, and apparently she, she died not long, <laughs> I won't get into the story, but she died, like, really young, um, and th because she died, like, they basically, um, gave her, like, this tribute, died of a heroin overdose. As you do when you're, you know, hanging out with rock stars in the 90, early 90s, or even late 90s. Uh, so, yeah, um, sold it finally, had it for several months. I would still pick this up again for cheap. I think I picked this up for a dollar. And, um, and yeah, free shipping. Yeah, nothing more to say about that. Uh, this was a cool one. Let me get a drink real quick. Okay, sorry. Um, this is cool because I got this for technically free, even though my dad bought it from a... One time we went to, like, this closeout flea market right when I was starting to um, get into reselling and flipping and all that. And... And, um... Sorry if you're hearing that. Some emails came in. Um, so yeah, uh, he he bought he found like this bunch of really antique photos, like really cool stuff, mostly portraits. And I did some research. I have not that this means anything to anyone, but I have a degree in anthropology, and this kind of stuff really makes me think that I'm using that degree because uh, my actual my actual career is not oh, anthropology. Uh, but yeah, I did some research and I found out that back in the day, actually in 1905, um, there was a military school for boys and um, and the back of this at the top there says 1905. And I mean, Someone could have just put that, like, I mean, I'm not going to say, like, that is, it's 100% guaranteed to be 1905, but I'm guessing that's probably correct. But, uh, yeah, so 1905 was when they started this military school, and I have a couple other ones from this military school, so I just haven't thrown them up on eBay yet. Anyway, uh, a guy, this sold, like... The next day for 15 I didn't know how much to price it for, so I just sold it for 15 plus the shipping. But, um, and ended up, like, kind of looked up the guy, and he he's a historian for that era. For that era. For that area. I know my mouth is getting kind of dry, so I'm screwing up my words. But, um, so I thought that was awesome that it went to a place where someone's actually going to use it and maybe put it in their, um, you know, show it to other people as part of their history. And same thing for this one. This one's actually super cool. I'm going to scan from left to right. Okay, so these people are at a, like, a tennis court, even though this looks like a bunch of grass. The back... Picture taken before 1888, tennis court where May's place is now, because in Nellie Kirkman's home. Mary Gentry Frierson in background, light skirt and dark redding goat, whatever that word is, holding tennis racket. Bessie Henley sitting at card table in dark grass. So I thought that was awesome that it told you a little bit who these people are. And I looked up a couple of these names and um, 
like they coordinate to that city or at least that county and uh, May's place uh, was like is like a, a house or something like a mansion and the lady I think I think the lady like right here is that person who owned that mansion's grandchild and there's another these are like basically family outing of like this wealthy family so I don't know if you're interested in stuff like that I don't usually do things like that but um yeah I knew my parents had these for the last few years and um I was like well if you're not doing anything let me sell them you know and my mom wouldn't let them in the house so they were sitting in a not outdoors but like in a storage area um by the garage and I'm like because she thinks like stuff like this will bring in I don't know like spirits or whatever and I'm just like I don't even care if they want to come hang out with me in my apartment they're more than welcome to I really don't care <laughs> um yeah so that was that but yeah that was like the coolest thing um probably that I sold all month because a lot of the stuff is just bread and butter and that did sell for 40 plus the shipping to the same guy that bought the um, uh, little boy at the military school. Last thing I bought, nothing special here. Suicidal Tendencies cassette tape. I had this for over a year, maybe a year and a half. And there was always like tons of watchers on it. And I never had this for very expensive. Maybe... I don't know, like, maybe I priced it high at the beginning, like, 15 bucks, but then I brought it lower, and it's been around 10 to, 10 to 8 bucks for, like, ever, and I'm like, why do I have six watchers on this thing just freaking buy it? That's, that's, like, the most annoying thing to me, is when something is so cheap, and you have a ton of watchers on it, and you're like, why? Just, just buy it it's free shipping you know how much it like it's less than 10 bucks Ugh. anyway so yeah eight dollars with the free shipping um and casual notes i almost saw this band also at riot fest that same year but they were playing at the same time as another band and so they were on different stages so i couldn't see them but that would have been neat Last thing is Tommy for your mommy, as Paul Cantu would say. Uh, I bought this for four dollars at a costume sale for like a, like a film costume designer sale, and um, four bucks. Did I say that already? Yeah, four bucks. Okay, so and it sold for seventy. I told you guys about this problem I had with it last month. Um, in my January sales, uh, so someone bought this, obviously, and I got it out, and right here in this white patch up here, um, I found a small hole that I did not see before, and I was like, uh, well, that's not a big deal, I'll just send the other one out, because I had two of these that were exactly like, and I decided to send the other one out, and um, I looked at it, and I was like, oh no, it's not exactly like it was the same size and everything and it was pretty much just like this but like it had different patches like on the collar had different colors like, like this where where this white patch would be was red you, you know what I'm saying so otherwise same pretty much exact shirt but it was just such a new mistake um I don't know why I did that especially I mean, I don't know why I didn't see that there were two different design or patterns, patches. I don't know why I didn't catch that. Um, and maybe it was such a small hole, I can see why I, like, overlooked that. But, man. <laughs> anyway, so they were cool with it. Um, they were cool with me. Repl oh, I had to message them and say, hey, I have this other one, but it's slightly different. Um, same size. Uh, everything is great about it, but the colors are different on it in, like, different places. And he was like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's, 
that's fine. Um, and he gave me five stars feedback, so dodge that bullet. Um, and this went to a, um, a guy in Los Angeles who at one point was like a costume designer for like indie films. I don't know. I think he's like in fashion in general. So that was really cool. Uh, and that's all my sale. That's, uh, I'm not doing a whole lot of Etsy right now, although I do love Etsy. Um, people are still liking my stuff, but like, I've just been super, super busy. Um, like I, I've been saying, just the wedding has been taking some time away from doing my sales. So I don't know. We'll see how, uh, yeah, at one point I may have to just stop listing altogether and just, uh, my sales will just go to nothing. <laughs> Maybe after the wedding, hopefully after the wedding, um, I'll be back on listing as much as I can, getting that money. Anyway, thanks for watching and sorry this video was so long. Have a great day. Bye.